This chapter introduces the economic model of demand and supply, one of the most powerful models in all of economics. The discussion here begins with examining how demand and supply determine the price and the quantity sold in the markets of goods and services, and how changes in demand and supply lead to changes in prices and quantities. The demand schedule shows that as a price rises, quantity demanded decreases, and vice versa. These points are then graphed, and the line connecting them is the demand curve D. The downward slope of the demand curve again illustrates the law of demand, the inverse relationship between prices and quantity demanded. It is important to note that demand in general refers to the entire demand schedule and curve, and each individual point on the curve is referred to as quantity demanded. The supply schedule is the table that shows quantity supplied of gasoline at each price. As price rises, quantity supplied also increases, and vice versa. The supply curve S is created by graphing the points from the supply schedule and then connecting them. The upward slope of the supply curve illustrates the law of supply, that a higher price leads to a higher quantity supplied and vice versa. Just like demand, it is important to note that in general, supply refers to the entire supply schedule and curve, and that quantity supplied refers to the individual points on the curve or individual price and quantity sets in the schedule. The demand curve D and the supply curve S intersect at the equilibrium point E, with a price of $1.40 and a quantity of 600. The equilibrium is the only price where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. The price and quantity that make up the equilibrium point are referred to as equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. At a price above equilibrium, like $1.80, quantity supplied exceeds the quantity demanded, so there is excess supply. At a price below the equilibrium, such as $1.20, Quantity demanded exceeds quantity supplied, so there is excess demand.